I feel like I, I, I may have said something. I may have presumed something that what? wasn't wasn't true because I was ta- I was kind of <laughs> talking about you as if you weren't here when I was talking about you beforehand and I said you worked not with Danny on this record but you worked with Tucker Martin mm-hmm. and I said I'm sure it felt like a risk did it yeah it did I was like who is Tucker Martin anyway oh. yeah <laughs> luckily he's the greatest so it yeah. worked out really well so what, what like what made it why did you want to do take a risk like that in the um, first place. I think that, you know, Dan and I have I made a lot of records together and I've loved those experiences so much and I think it kind of got to a point where we were, you know, we could like sit down in the studio and just kind of like, you know, it was getting just like a little bit easy, you know? And so I look forward to like going back to that experience with him. But I, I, I felt like especially before we make this new step as well into parenthood, I wanted to go out on my own and almost kind of see like, do I know how to make a record without Dan Ledwell? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and um, uh, yeah, so and uh, yeah, so I, I went out, out to try something new and it just felt like everything about the experience was just so new for me and I just really reveled in that. New in a good way? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And like, so it was, is that important to you? Like, I don't know if we've ever talked about this, but is that, yeah. is that important to you to feel like you're taking risks in your work? Absolutely. To take? Yeah. 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 I just feel like for me, one of the greatest gifts from making art is when you feel like you're taking a risk. Like, you know, if you align it to painting, like if you throw some paint down on a page and, and you're, ho- you're like, I don't know what's going to happen. And that's kind of like the beauty of it for me. I had um, Linda Perry on the show yesterday, like incredible songwriter and producer, and she said that. I said, but like, what if you fail? Like, yeah. it feels like these days it's um, so much riskier to fail. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, like, totally. Fa- yes. If you if you sh- if you shag it up, as we say, yeah, you're, you you might have a hard go for a right. while, right? Yeah. And she said, well, you know, you're not going to fail if you're doing something that's true to you. Oh, that's good. I'll remember that. Can you relate to that? Um, I think so, and I think that failure is a part of life, and we learn from our failures as well, and that's kind of what I try to how the way I'm trying to look at life too. I got to tell you, I'm I'm sort of selfishly happy you're here. In addition to hearing your music, but I'm also I still haven't met your your kid yet. I still haven't met. I can't believe it. I He's still, so close by. I still haven't met Gus. I'm very, Just very excited. in the back. So you and Danny welcomed your first son into the world, Gus. That's right. Congratulations. Thank you so much. How's it going? How's motherhood? Uh, motherhood is amazing. Um, the transition to um, motherhood is like crazy and emotional and hard and like everything and touring on top of that is it's a it's a large plate that I've I've put in front of me um but um I'm I'm feeling really grateful every day like I just look at him and I just can't believe that he's here he's so cute and he's so good and I just he has such a sweet spirit and I'm obsessed with my beautiful baby I um I have to say, when, if you're listening to this right now, you may wonder, Tom, these, these, these are these are personal questions to ask somebody. But I know you're into talking Why about not? this, and you're, uh, you're you're up for talking. Imagine you could have really <laughs> throw me actually to, throw me to the wolves a little bit by going, "What are you talking about? We didn't agree to talk about any of this." What stage of the record did you and Danny find out you were going to have a kid? Well, um, the getting to have the kid was such a long process, as uh, you know. You know, I will, um, people, folks like listening to this may not know. That's right? tr- very true. Yeah. Um, I mean, it took me about six years to get to get Gus. Um, so I was, a lot of times I was touring records and worrying about, um, you know, my cycle and whatever. Um, I'm like, how much detail do you want on the radio yeah, well, I was, about my cycle? I know. <laughs> <laughs> that's a new podcast I'm working on, Jen. Perfect. I don't know. I don't know I'm how available. that's going to be. But, um, but go on. Yeah. I, I was just kind of worrying about getting pregnant all felt like for years like is this, is this flight making me not pregnant like just so many you know pressures i was putting on myself because it was it had taken such a long time and like during that time trying to be really grounded and chill and meditating and all of the good things you should be doing every day anyway but there was pressure on me and um eventually we decided to <clears throat> try um several methods of uh of fertility treatments like we did a couple of rounds of IUI made friends with all the staff at the Art clinic in Halifax. We love them so much. Um, those didn't work. I did a round of IVF with two embryos. I had an early miscarriage. Um, that was devastating. But like, actually, for the way that I healed from that partially was by eating a huge loaf of um, bread called Newfoundland bread oh. with a, just like a bunch of butter and just ate it um, for two, you know two days, just eating on the couch. Mm-hmm. And um, and I was like, all right, let's, I called the clinic. I was like, let's do it again. And and um, and uh, we we did the 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 magical IVF cycle that that resulted in Augustus Grant Ledwell. It's it's so nice to hear you talk about this. But it was, I mean, you and I. I should point out that you and I had like um, and Danny talked about this a little bit when we would see one another mm-hmm. and would kind of keep me up to date. Mm-hmm. And 
Um, but I, I was surprised a little bit when I saw you. So you wrote this essay for CBC where you kind of talked mm-hmm. about this and you talked about fertility treatment mm-hmm. and you talked about fertility issues that the two of you guys went through. Um, like, why, why, why are you talking about this? And I mean, in the best way possible, yeah. like why did you want to share this story? Um, I just, I mean, I think as a writer, for me, it's always been, I think since I was a kid, like once I go, th- go through something, I think part of the healing process or part of the learning experience for me is to be able to share that, like whether it's in songwriting or whether it's just like trying to write something that's real so people can you'd be like, oh, yeah, I relate to that. Or I'm going through that, too, or I'm thinking about it or I'm ha- I have pain because of this. And um, just trying to, you know, share my experiences in the hopes that it will there'll be, you know, there's stigma around fertility treatments for sure. And, um, uh, you know, why not use my what voice I have to to help, you know, alleviate some of that. So, so what did it mean to you? Like when you shared this, how long ago was that? Was that Christmas time? I it think? came out on Christmas Day. Yeah. I forgot it was coming out. I was like, oh my goodness. I, I, I remember that. Yeah. And um, I, so I went on uh, kind of East Coast Twitter. Like I was on Twitter, which to us is just largely people from Halifax and Newfoundland uh-huh. and PEI and all that kind of stuff. But every, people across the country we're posting, I'm so happy you wrote this. Mm-hmm. I went through something like this too. And that was just publicly. I can't imagine the notes you were getting from people mm-hmm. about about they had gone. Yeah, that, that's true, a lot of notes. A lot of notes. So, I mean, what does that mean to you? It was great. I had to take a couple of days away before I could look at them because there was a lot of them. And um, it feels good. Yeah, I, I, I feel proud to, I feel really proud of Gus. <laughs> he had a big journey to get here. Mm. And I feel proud of every woman and, and um, every every parent or father um, any anyone who's trying to create a family, whatever that family looks like to them, you know, it's it's a big it's a big deal. Just last question on this is: I mean, is this about, in some ways, giving people a support or giving people a narrative that maybe you weren't getting enough of when you were going through this as well? Um, I think so. I think I didn't really know um, where to turn. I mean, I was lo- I was doing all the like internet searches of how many healthy vitamins can I take, to- and how much acupuncture and osteopathy, and I don't think those things are all wonderful. But um, yeah, I didn't know. I just needed. I don't know what I. Ne- yeah, I just. This is the path I took, and if it helps anybody else, then that's great. I'm so I'm so glad. Thanks, I'm so, and I'm, I'm just so incredibly happy for you guys anyway, because I love both of you an unbelievable you amount, too. and uh, I'm so happy. <laughs> I can't wait to meet little Gus. I went in, I don't, I don't know, did Danny tell you that I, I went in to say hello to him this morning, and this is what a great parent <laughs> I'll be. I said, I said hi to Danny and didn't notice the baby. Yeah, I was like, Tom came in, didn't see the baby on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a great, great move, Tom. You were uh, so busy, so quick. Oh, yeah, that's probably what don't it was, right? Oh, you're so sweet. Um, you wrote something uh, interesting in your bio for Love Inevitable. You wrote, some of the guitar songs I wrote in this little window of a few days where I felt this kind of energy around me, I didn't know I was pregnant yet, and those were those songs, uh, those were, that was when those songs were written. Mm-hmm. That must be so meaningful to play them now, too. Yeah, absolutely. I can now, because you know, when I'm singing, on, you know, performing on stage, I usually, I, I picture different things when I'm singing. And mm-hmm. sometimes I notice now I picture Gus's face and it's such a nice feeling to mm-hmm. picture his little face. Is your is your music, um, is the way you're approaching your career, is the way you're approaching music at all changed? Um, n- I don't know yet. You know, I'm not sure. I, I, um, I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, I, I know that right now things are, I've been through so much since he was born, like the, you know, emotional and physical stuff of, of having a baby is huge. And I'm processing all that still while kind of putting this record out. And I know that I'm, a, I, I know that there's a place for me to, you know, create something out of what it's, I'm going through right now. And, um, but, but, uh, but yeah, back to like what you were saying before, I did write, um, those songs in the special window because I didn't know, you know, I didn't know if I was pregnant yet. I did the treatments. I was yeah. waiting for my blood test. And so all, this whole album came from uh, songs that I wrote while I was either like super exhausted from being pregnant or just kind of wondering if it was going to work out. And that was another risk too. Like we booked the record to make with Tucker in July. And I was like, oh, I really hope this IVF works or I don't know what I'm doing. Mm. Anyway, that was a, a very roundabout no, it's, answer it's, to it's good. a couple of things. I mean, you just, you just, you know, I, when I when I look at people like you, and I know Caroline Brooks from The Good Lovelies, who's a, who's a good friend Love of ours. Love her. But, but like who, <laughs> who who writes and posts an awful lot about being I a mom on the road does. and being I a touring musician. I read those blogs and, years ago. Yeah. There's a support network in Canada that I've felt really amazing uh, felt so connected to with um, with with her, with Caroline, and with Jill Barber, and with Amy Milan, who's been an amazing support to me as well through the beginning stages of of motherhood and um, and other people as well. But uh, 
yeah, it's special. You know, the the mom on the road thing is is um, it's a special and unique life. It is. Yeah. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you so much. Happy Mother's Day to your mom. She's Everybody. listening right now. I Sheila. She is. Hey, Sheila. Friends with your aunt, right? <laughs> That's right. My Aunt Patty. Yeah. Oh, just love my Aunt Patty. I hope they're both listening right <laughs> Me now. Me too. <laughs>